हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो आई एम बैक आफ्टर फ्यू मंथ्स बट वी कैंट स्टॉप लर्निंग सो वी हैव टू लर्न सो देर वाज वन रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द व्यूवर्स दैट वी नीड सम एग्जांपल ऑन द पेज ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल सो आई एम जस्ट क्रिएटिंग अ बेसिक एग्जाम्पल इफ यू नीड any other kind of example then you can comment it out and we'll surely create a video on that scenario also so basically what is the page object model so it's one kind of a framework we can create based on following the structure that is a page object model so why we need to create a page object model because it reduces the code it reduces the duplication and even it improves the test maintenance in the future suppose there are many changes coming in the future in the elements so we need to go and change at each and every location which is very difficult to search and even resolve so better if we use this model than just at single location we will be changing the element reference and it will get reflected in all the test cases so that is the advantage of the framework so what is that and what are the different kinds of frameworks available so this is the basic example of the page object model which we will see today there are many kinds like modular framework where you can create and divide the script based on the modules then we also have the data driven framework that based on the data which you pass like click this button so it will perform the click event send this keys then it will send this keys so depends on the data what kind of like it has a button edit tags whatever you want to perform that will be the data driven framework even we have a keyword driven keyword driven framework comes where you want to perform the events like mouse click click on this button click event then that is a keyword instruction that what you need to perform so we also have the hybrid framework where you can have your own customization data driven as well as hybrid uh, data driven as well as modular data driven as well as test driven and nowadays the bdd is most popular one so we will also create more and more videos on the bdd so let's start with the simple example of the google that we have seen already in the previous video so here you can see that i have search element there on my screen search button is there then we have a constructor so why we require a constructor on this page because the page are uh, independently created and we need to pass the reference of the driver every time we create so it will take the driver reference it might be a chrome driver or firefox driver whatever driver it is then we need to create some method that suppose i want to search the manual testing then i will pass that criteria in this method and it's going to write this structure the driver dot find element send keys previously what we were writing instead of writing here search element variable we will pass it we were passing this directly so if i write this in each and every test cases so in future if the google change the uh, name of the element instead of q they write something else then i need to find it out in my uh, test scripts and need to change but with this just i will change at single location and it will get reflected in all the test cases this is the first advantage suppose i want to click on the button so what i will write here click on the search but i know for a single command you have to write down so many things but uh, let me tell you uh, it is a going to be a big advantage if you practice such methods so for the click we have done now how to call this method so i have just created a test jo test java file here but you can keep it it out outside the page folder so first we will set the chrome driver path so i will just copy it here as i don't remember it always we will initialize the web driver say driver we will initialize is new chrome driver okay 
that's done now suppose I want to open the website so what you will do driver dot and we will write here okay now we get to url it's not coming Now after that we will create the example for the object of the Google page and I'm just creating the Google page object. We will initialize the constructor. Now see here is asking for you the parameter need to be passed that is the driver. So without that it will not work. So we are passing the driver object. Now after opening the page you have to enter the things into this so i will let's say automation selenium okay so let's try and run it out Right, so it's done now in case suppose uh, you have a scenario so I am going to explain you the scenario uh, suppose we have a login page a registration page uh, let's say the product search page then cart or add to cart page then payments page then favorites so there are many pages in the websites right so what you have to do you have to separate out all the pages one by one navigating whenever you are navigating to next page that is a new page for the selenium so try to create that page and whatever elements you are using on that page that all the elements should be defined here on the pages now in the next uh, video what we will see that instead of writing find element dot send keys every time we are just going to write this much on the page file and when you are using that uh, there we have to specify a common things for all the test cases like suppose I am having a 20 pages on my website then I have to create so many methods also and these common structures which will get repeated for each and every element so in the next video we will short this thing out to a more structured way so that it will be written only once and your page file will also look good so there is no complexity in case you have a 20 elements on a single page then you need to create a 20 properties for each and every element and if suppose we have to click on that element then it's get difficult to handle so this was a simple example for the page object model for the google you can convert it with your own examples and if you face any problems then let us know and if you understand this basic example then thank you for viewing this and keep liking keep commenting and keep sharing that's all from my side thanks and signing off